Hello there everyone, it is Mitsu here and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Today I'll analyze Frankie de Jong's performance against Napoli. So Barcelona came on top with a 3-1 victory thanks to the goals from Langley, Messi and Suarez. De Jong's game rating was 7.3 according to who scored. His short passes made the difference today as Barcelona kept position against Napoli's high pressure. Now let's get to know the tactical roles that he performed on the pitch. De Jong played as a left midfielder alongside Rakitic and Sergio Roberto. But he was given specific responsibilities during the pressure. As Barcelona pressed Napoli high up the pitch, Napoli would then rely on Koulibaly to play the long ball, so De Jong was asked to press the other side of the pitch once the pass was played. He would also press the player who drops down to receive the ball from Koulibaly. While building up, De Jong would drop down to receive the ball from the defenders as Napoli used the high defensive block. These passes between the lines were the key behind Barcelona's possession. As Napoli used the high defensive block, there were some spaces available between the lines, and De Jong was able to deliver these passes and by that, Barcelona was able to get rid of the pressure. He did the same thing during the counter-attacks as well, and he would always push on the left-hand side to provide the attacking support. This was also shown in the disallowed goal as he was providing the attacking support. He was also responsible to mark Fabian and block his passing lanes. He always tried to force him to play backward passes and stopped him from getting between the midfield and defensive lines. The only goal that Napoli scored was actually after Fabian got past him, as they got the penalty after he passed the ball inside the box. He got a total of 63 passes this game, with a 92% success rate. He touched the ball 78 times and got a total of 4 recoveries. While the team was out of shape during the press, he would position himself as a defensive midfielder. Defensively, he got a couple of rolls to help Jordi Alba. He would cover his back during the transitions, push forward and apply pressure to keep him in shape, provide the support during any overlaps and underlaps, and try to stretch the opposition's block to help him get out with the ball. So that was it guys, I hope you have enjoyed this short analysis. Who was the man of the match in your opinion? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.